But firstly, I would like to introduce my first guest, the famous Susie Price, Ghost Whisperer. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jordina. It's, it's good lovely. to have you back. Oh, it's lovely to be back again. I always enjoy being here on a Sunday evening. And everyone loves having you. Oh, thank you so much. Now, you've got a bit of a following now after being on... We already had a following, but an even bigger following now after being on Psychic TV. Oh, that's wonderful, yes. It's, and I've actually been looking up um, a Facebook with our Psychic TV um, website connected to it and so yeah I've had a few, few nice little messages on there from people who've been watching so I'd just like to say thank you for the your lovely messages as, as well they've been great we've had some excellent feedback about you and a lot of people oh, calling you. and texting in saying how I'm um, spot on your readings were oh, thank fantastic. you that's so good to know and it's also wonderful to get feedback so the psychics here really love feedback because it gives us confirmation to know that we're on the right track as well. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, so as much feedback as you can, it's wonderful. Thank yeah, you. So Susie, for our, our viewers that haven't had the chance to see you on Psychic TV before, can yeah, you tell, give us a little yeah. bit of a brief run through on what you do and what you specialise yeah, in? Yeah, well, I specialise in being a spiritual medium and that actually means that um, people's loved ones who passed on the other side, I'm able to contact, contact with them. And, um, and bring messages from them to let um, their loved ones know that they're at peace and that they're still with us. And um, usually that will involve, um, the spirits usually come through with their personalities to let you know who they are and they'll come through with their names and at times with the streets where they lived. And, and I also, um, I feel very blessed that I do see spirits in like physical form, the way that, that we actually look. Um, actually had this gift since I was about seven from a near-death experience and at the time it was quite scary because yeah, I'd have because <laughs> I'd have all these um spirits in my room and I didn't know what was going on at the time but as time went on I, I realized that um how blessed I am to be able to do this and now I'm very passionate um and I'm able to help many people in giving them readings and and letting them know that their loved ones are at peace and they're always, always with us all the time. It's just another dimension that we go to, but they always, the spirits always walk with us and they're always so happy and so at peace when they come through. Oh, it's so nice to know that they're always with us and I guess <laughs> sure. it makes everyone feel really, really comforted at times, yeah. you know, when they're feeling a bit down. So guys, if you... But we actually have our first voicemail message of um, the evening. Your first yeah. reading for... We're going to call it spooky super, spooky super <laughs> Sundays. We we'll were. stick to Super Sundays because there's nothing spooky about Psychic TV. No, not at all. <laughs> all right, let's hear the voicemail message. My name is Frida. Date of birth is on the 4th, 10th, 57. Does my dad have any messages for me from the other side? And what the future holds for me? Thank you. Oh, hi, Frida. Um, yes, instantly I felt that your dad is around you. And I feel like your dad's telling me, as a young man, he may have come from a European type of country. And um, he's showing me um, through his life, he probably was a smoker. And I see like, he used to have rollies where he'd have the, the white tobacco, the white um, paper and put the tobacco in the cigarettes. And he said, he said to me, sorry, love, that I never gave up the smoking. I, I did really try through my life to, to give it up because I feel he may have passed him. Um, something connected with his his lungs or his chest and he actually kept showing me him being in the hospital and he thanks you for being there by his side every way, um, all the time and he's coming through with a bit of a cheeky smile as well and he's smiling at me I don't feel he's that tall either I get him he's about five seven or five foot eight and he's also saying that he's looking after um, your son which is it which is his grandson and he's saying something about your son who drives a bit fast in the car and that he will protect him in the car and not to worry about that um, but we'll do we'll, I'll quickly do the cards and see what the the future holds for your freedom and, and um, so I'll just do a few cards and we'll see what they say give me a little bit of a shuffle um, there so yeah I, I dad go. also says something about horses so whether he um he liked to bet on the horses or like to go up the TAB or whether um, you liked horses or dad had horses or that could be the, the farm thing again, the connection there. Mm. <laughs> Just pop these down a little oh, bit, thank Susie. you. <laughs> Go. Okay, Brida, they're just showing me something um, with some legal issues. So it could be like you're signing some documents of some kind. So it could be connected to a house or selling of a property or buying of a property. 
Um, just someone around you just to be a little bit careful or wary of, but I don't think it's anything major. But they're saying you're almost there in your life, so if you've been for a little bit of upset at all, it's like it's almost over because next to that you've got a lovely star card. So it's showing me all your wishes and dreams and hopes are about to come true in your life and you're heading out of rocky waters into peace and tranquility and a time of new beginnings in your life for the better. So I feel you're heading into a really good time in your life now. And uh, yeah, it's, it looks really, really positive and really good to me. <laughs> We love positive readings we here at Star do. TV we on do our love Super Sunday. Reading. Okay, this one is from Margaret Susie, um, the 6th of the 11th, 62. My dad passed a few months ago. The other day I felt the other day I felt a presence in the room. Was it him and any messages? Oh hi Margaret. I'm so sorry to hear about your dad's passing. I do definitely feel that your dad's around and I'm getting goosebumps. It's a, a symbol, a sign that comes through to let um, let you know that spirit is is really here and it's like a true symbol dad said he was in your bedroom and um he said that he was flickering your lights too and you may have seen him in like a shadow form or you may have felt him like touching your shoulders or your back and he says to look out for feathers around the next few days as well because he says that's a message from him leaving them around and he talks about um also about his garage or his shed um, I feel that he could have been quite good with his hands, like Mr. Fix it, or something with cars, because he's talking about, and he's talking about his car. He's saying um, he's happy for where the car went, so I feel, I wonder whether you got the car, or whether your son got the car. I'm just giving you a goosebump skin because he's very happy about that. I see the what he's saying a white car, he's saying really strongly, yeah, he's really happy about that. <laughs> he's just so excited about the car, I don't know why, but he is. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably make sense to you, Margaret. He's saying, take the trip, love. He said, take the trip. And um, he's glad that you got the money. And, and he, he actually really misses your cooking as well. So I feel that you must have cared for him and helped him a lot through his illness and sickness. And he loves you. Gosh, he's giving you so many kisses and hugs. And he's got the biggest smile and he's got a hat on. So I feel, and he's taking his hat off. And he's a real true gentleman, this man. So um, lots of love to you, Margaret, from, from your dad. I never doubt that he's not there. Oh, that's a beautiful <laughs> reading. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> now, Susie, tell me a little bit about your tools and the things that you use. Yeah, Because I know yeah. that your mediumship, you tend to um, sort of speak to spirit without using yep. any tools. Yeah. But you do have some cards there. Yeah, I did uh, use the tarot cards as well. And that helps me more with future events. And it also, when I, I do the cards as well, it gives me confirmations to help me that I'm on the right track. Um, I also do palmistry as well. Oh, and, do you? Yeah, yeah. Something else I didn't know about you. Yeah. Like tonight. And that's like a blueprint. In that's like a blueprint of your life. It's like we're actually born with the lines in our hands, and some lines can change and um, and make different form over time as well. So yeah, I'm a, a palm reader as, as well, and um, and usually I yeah I carry my little crystals around with me. So yeah, the crystals all have little different meanings. So um, that one's called an amethyst, and that's really a really good um, crystal to help you with your spiritual ability, your psychic ability, and also to open up your third eye. So yeah, if you're meditating or or you're wanting to um, uh, start to get a bit more psychic, or, or start to open your psychic abilities, it's good to have an amethyst or carry a little tumble stone in your pocket, and it's also good like for children who have nightmares so mums might, may be thinking oh, I don't know what to do with my son or daughter they're, they're having nightmares so it's just get a couple of little tumble stones of amethyst and then put them pop them under their pillow and that will tend to settle them at night and that should stop their nightmares from occurring <laughs> and guys take note because Susie actually does psychic development classes so if anyone's going to know it's Susie she's <laughs> great with this stuff <laughs> just, we've got a couple of voicemail messages for you Let's hear them. Uh, my name is uh, <laughs> David Bantic, 13 November 1973. Uh, my ex-partner passed away 10 weeks ago and I'm just wondering if he has any messages for me. Thank you. I'm so sorry to hear about your ex-partner only passing 10 weeks ago and I just want to say that you're very brave in ringing in after only a short time because um, I can imagine you'd still be in the morning process right now. I do feel that he's around you. I keep feeling he's saying he passed of some kind of illness because um, I keep seeing him in a, like a bed or hospital bed and he, he keeps thanking me, thank, say, thank, thanking you for being there because it's like he said you're there 24 hours 
um, and you even like, because uh, I do feel like one time he was in the hospital and you slept at the hospital by his side every minute. Um, he, oh, he's talking about also about his wedding ring. Um, he knows that you kept that and you, you put that in a safe place in the drawer. I feel he actually wants you to give that to, um, I feel, one of the kids, so I feel it must be the son. It's, um, he gives me a name like Brad or Brett or um, it could be one of your children who starts with a B initial. And this is really a bit strange, Vanessa, it's a little bit odd, but he's saying um, he knows that you changed the mat at the front door. And I don't know why he's saying that, or, it, or even if it could be the name Matt or Matthew, maybe he's just taking me there because I can relate to that. Sometimes they do funny things like that. Um, something about being Catholic. I'm not sure if you're Catholic, but he's talking about Catholic church or Catholic school. He, he loves you so much. His heart's, oh, wow. And, and again, like, one of the last people came through, he's saying, take the trip and he'll be by your side all the way. And he loves the rose, he loved the roses. And he's talking about a brother who, who stood up and did um, part of the eulogy. And I keep feeling one of your children um, wrote part of the eulogy as well. And he wants to, he's just so much kisses and love he's sending you. So I, I hope that's helped you, Vanessa, and all the best and lots of love. <laughs> what a beautiful reading and I love how you're so specific as well. It's a gorgeous reading out there for our lovely listener that left us a voicemail message. So thank you for interacting with us here at Psychic TV. Alright, we have another text for you, Susie. Sunday night, Super Sundays is busy, isn't it? They're it is. Very it's thick very and fast. busy. Alright, this one's the 25th of the 1282. Um, this one's from Andrew saying, hi Susie. Oh, hi Andrew. <laughs> Just wanted to know um, Spirit, who Spirit who came to me this morning, um, Bill Simmons, an Aboriginal man. Who wow. is he and why did he come to me, why did he come to me for? Oh wow Andrew. Um, the first thing Bill tells me, he says that you're quite psychic yourself. And I feel he's letting you know that you're starting to be aware and open to Spirit. And he keeps telling me that he's a bit, Bill was a bit like a shaman. Um, and Bill shows me he was very artistic and very creative because he keeps showing me like all the Aboriginal drawings and paintings. Uh, he said that he'll be one of your spirit, spiritual guides to guide you along the way to help you. Um, I just feel, yeah, he's like a, a personal assistant in a way, helping you through your spiritual journey. And I feel you can call on him any time that you want. Also feels he's a bit of a character. He said he was a bit of a larrikin in his day. He also says he wouldn't mind having a if he if he was still here, he wouldn't mind having a beer with you, Andrew. He says. <laughs> and he said we would have been good buddies. Um, so I just feel yeah, more of a spiritual guide and more of a spiritual assistant. So and maybe you might want to get interested in to um, the shamanic journey yourself. Opening up to that that way of life might be quite interesting to you as well. So yeah, that's what mm. I that's what I feel, Andrew. Yeah. Really interesting text message. Yeah, it's quite different. I like that yeah. One. yeah. We kind of don't get many people no. that can see spirits that are texting through and asking who they are and, and what they're doing. Oh, and it also says you'll be a wonderful healer in time. So keep up the good work and you may be able to even be able to send earthbound um, spirits to the other side because I feel that's something Bill was able to do and he'll give you assistance in the spiritual realms to be able to do that too. Wow, there you go. Good luck with that, Andrew. All right, we have a new text for you. This one is from Robert. He says, hi, um, first date the 20th of the 8th, 59. My little Matthew passed on 14 years ago. Would love to hear from him. Is there any word from him? Oh, oh Robert, um, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Um, so little Matthew, I keep feeling like he, he passed instantly. And I keep seeing him at the age of about four or five. Um, so I'm not sure wherever he was in an accident, but he, or he, and he keeps holding his heart too, like, so it, it could have been something heart related, but he wants to let, he's saying, Dad, I am at peace, and um, he loves, he said he loves to play with his sister, so I feel that you must have a daughter, <laughs> and he, he remembers when she was little that she, he used to sit around um, her, with her and have tea parties, and <laughs> she'd put a little cup next to him, and, and they'd have little chats together. Um, he said not to cry because he said so many times that you cried and he's, and he's put his little head on, on your shoulder and he says something about a little pillow that you may have kept and it's got his name on it, Matthew. 
So I feel that something that um, was like a little special pillow or little, and also a little special blanket I'm seeing with his name on it. And he's saying, oh, he says he's, he likes to watch his, the, the, I feel there must be another sibling because I'm seeing a brother and he likes to watch him on the scooter because he goes so fast and he loves that. <laughs> he also lets you know he's with grandma and grandma was there on the other side to meet him on the other side when he went over because uh, a lot of times our relatives who have passed before us will be waiting for us on the other side. So that's his way of letting you know that he's been looked after by grandma. Beautiful once again. <laughs> it's so good having you here and just to, to be able to connect people with ones that have passed and just give them that comfort. I know that sometimes, you know, even if it's years on, we still want to... That's right. We actually yeah. came back. We've got a voicemail message for you. Let's hear it. Man, um, I was born on the 15th and 7th, 73. Um, my message is, um, I'd just like to know if my grandmother is around me. She passed 18 years ago. And is there anything exciting happening for me for the rest of the year? Thank you. Grandmother that's passed, yep. and is there anything exciting, exciting happening, happening for the rest of the okay, year? Okay, that's a little bit. Charmaine. Hi, Charmaine. Yeah, instantly I felt that grandma is around you. And I feel Grandma's actually showing me her, her knitting or crocheting. And um, she's actually giving me the name Pearl or saying about, could even be the Pearl necklace that she may have given you before she passed. Um, and she's also talking about like her glass cabinet that she used to have, I feel, in the dining room or the lounge room because she used to have her little um, crystal bowls and a little teapot sets in there so maybe she may have given you one of those because she said you used to love to look at those and play with those when you were a little girl and um, and she's also talking about I feel that about your three children she wants to let you know that she looks after them as well and grandma's actually saying she used to love to sit around the table and, and play cards with you when you were little she loved like something like Jim Rummy or or um, fish or the games like that she was saying she said they were good time um, we'll do your cards and we'll see what's coming up for you. Um, what do the cards for, say? For the year. Charmaine, I'm putting out the cards as well. Um, Grandma's telling me about your grandfather that's over there. I feel that you may have even been younger when he passed. But he's coming for and he's smoking a pipe and he has um, it's like really strong tobacco. So he says, have you ever smelled that strong tobacco? And there's no one been there, it's actually been him letting you know that he's been around looking after you as well. And Grandma also talks about a necklace with a locket. So she keeps going back to the pearl necklace or a necklace with a locket. Seems to be quite important for some reason. But your cards look really positive. Um, you've got a lot of cards with money here, Charmaine. Isn't that nice? Very nice. <laughs> you've got good news moving and change in your life. And this could be connected to a new job or a new opportunity within your work hope and promise of money coming and this is through education and study or learning new opportunities at work and new skills uh, it shows me you've been for a little bit of a stressful time here but that's just about over and again like money here money here and money here it's like financially things are definitely going to look up this year so Charmaine so um yeah, I just say, I don't usually say this, but I just say put lotto in just in case because you never know. <laughs> but you've got all this money coming, so it looks really positive. So yeah, it's really great. <laughs> cool. Okay, this one, um, Susie, is from Jacob. Date of birth, seventh of Jan, ninety one. Oh, I've what? got a son called Jacob. <laughs> Hi, Jacob. It's a lovely name. Yeah. Um, what does the future hold for me, and is there any messages? Thanks. Oh, okay, Jacob. Well, I might just, we'll just do your cards and we'll see what comes out for you. So I can imagine you're only quite a young man at this stage in your life. I do get, keep getting um, study or university around you. So maybe you're um, completing a degree or thinking about doing something like that. I also got, you're, you're good with your mind and your hands, they're telling me. Um, uh, spirit is popping me, popping in engineering for some reason or some something technical. Um, also got planes as well. Um, so whether you're thinking about joining the Air Force or Army or Navy or, or some career like that, they're saying it's a good move. Um, I feel you're actually a beautiful person, um, very sensible. You will do well in life. I don't think I need the cards, Jacob, so I might pop them down here. <laughs> Because spirits just keep on taking me, taking me. They're saying anything you do in life, you're going to do well. You're very determined, you're very dedicated. And they're saying just go for it, you're a real go-getter. 
financially I'm seeing you doing really well. I'm seeing about two or three properties around you. And um, I'm seeing, because I feel you're a young man now, but I feel um, probably around 27, 28, I'm seeing you having little twin girls as well. And um, you're gonna be a wonderful father. So I feel like, yeah, a great life ahead for you, Jacob. So yeah, fantastic. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful text reading from Susie, as usual. All right, we have next up another voicemail messages. I love the voicemail messages. It feels personal, doesn't it? It does. Love the text too, but the voicemail yeah. messages are great. So let's hear it. Yeah, hi, my name's Trish. Uh, my mother passed away 23 years ago. Um, I really miss her so much, and I just want to know if she's she's out there, if she's, you know, give me a message. Thank you. Oh, hi Trish. Uh, I do feel that mum is around you. Um, again, she says she comes to you in your dreams and she has she has had quite a few visits in your bedroom and she said to pay um, attention to your dreams around the next couple of nights. And she seems to know for some reason that you've changed your quilt or your bedspread recently. <laughs> um, and she's talking about uh, the trips together about the drives that I feel that used to take her out in the car quite a lot and she used to love all that kind of thing and she said she used to go to the gardens and she also loved the concerts that um, we used to do together as, or we used to see together as well. Um, she's talking about books on the bookshelves so I feel there's like some special books that you have of mum's and she said just have a little look in that because um, there's like a page that you'll turn to that will have quite a bit of meaning for you and Mum's also shown me cookbooks as well, so I feel um, you may have still some of Mum's cookbooks or recipe books as well. So I feel Mum was quite a good cook and she's very proud of you as well. Mm -hmm. um, she talks about your daughter and she says something um, about a baby that's coming in the family soon. And, um, and she, yeah, she is definitely around you and she loves, I got the name Joyce or Joy too. So uh, yeah, that may be a connection to your mum or um, to someone in the family. Beautiful. <laughs> Once again. Okay, we've got another text to screen for you, Susie. We're going to put you in a booth soon so that our callers can get a little bit yeah, more of an sure. extended reading as yeah. well as they'd like to. Okay, this one is from Rita, 15th of the 11th, um, 58. My mother passed early in the year. I'm wondering if she has anything to pass on to me. Thanks. Oh, hi, Rita. Uh, yeah, I definitely, again, feel mums around you. And she kept showing me a lot of roses. So I feel that's either your rose garden or her rose garden. But she said she, she looks after you in the rose garden and she hears your little chats that you have. I also feel like a Catholic connection too with your mum. And she hears your prayers and she knows about the white candles that you've been lighting. Um, she just popped a name Deborah for some reason or Deb. And also actually my name's Sue. So there could be a connection with both those ladies. Um, and she's also gave me Joe as well, so I feel like you must have quite a bit big extended family because she says she misses the family dinners and the get-togethers. And she said she often sits with you in spirit on your big long dining room table and she knows that you sit there and do all the crosswords, uh, crosswords or the uh, crossword puzzles. So she's there and she's also like, she'll flicker the lights above that table as well. Um, she says, Johnny, Johnny, oh, she's, she's shaking a finger at Johnny, so I don't know who Johnny is, so that might mean something to you. <laughs> but she still loves Johnny anyway, so. And she also shows me a, a black case or a brown case, could be some connection to your mum. So whether it's paperwork or legal work, she's happy with everything you've done. And she says, oh, I feel this is good um, through her house. So she could be the selling of a house. So she's thanking you, Rhea, and saying you really did a wonderful job and sorting everything out. And she's happy you've still got her purse and her hand back. And don't throw that out, love, she says. And she loves you very much. So I feel she's a character. <laughs> another beautiful reading. All right, we have another voicemail message, which we're about to play for you as well, Susie. Hi, my name's Pat. My date of birth is the 3rd of the 3rd, 1960. Um, I'd just love to be in contact with my mother, um, who passed away over 23 years ago. Um, yeah, if she's there, if she can give me some kind of a message, I'd, I'd really love that. Thank you, bye. Oh, hi, Pat. Um, first thing Mum keeps telling me that she passed really quickly and she keeps saying something with the blood or something with a blood clot 
um, or it even could be in cancer, that she's got going from like her stomach and down to her leg. Um, and she said that she had to, for some reason, like they took her to the hospital in the ambulance and it's like you, you, could, you couldn't see her after that. And she said that was always played on your mind all the time. Um, she is showing me like, something like a piano or an organ. So uh, whether she may play that as a young lady um, and she says, just remember about the times when we used, to, and also we used to play the, the organ or the or the music and the singing. And she says um, that to sit down and have a rest because you're always sweeping or always sweeping the leaves out. And she says to put your feet up because she's saying you've got to watch your legs too because she's saying something about the, the varicose veins in your legs. And she doesn't like you to work too hard, Pat. <laughs> um, and she does, she loves her very much. And she's also sending love to your daughter, which is her granddaughter. And she talks about something about a wedding. She said she would have loved to have been at um, your granddaughter's wedding, well, um, your daughter's wedding. But she says she was there in spirit and she came wearing, oh, the goosebumps really strong. Um, she came wearing a lovely blue aqua dress. So maybe you can remember a time when mum had a lovely dress like that. And she's like, has a little flower on, on the dress. And she says she's glad that you got to to keep her wedding or engagement ring. And again, she says not to worry, she is happy. And she is up there with her father as well. Her dad met her on the other side and she loves you very much. Beautiful reading from you, Susie. <laughs> Thanks, Jordina. Thank you. As usual. And, all right, Susie, well, thank you so much. Thanks, We're gonna Jordina. pop you in. And hopefully Thanks. we'll get you back on the show, but we have only got a two yeah. hour show.